heartiest congratulations you are becoming creator by giving birth to a life at 6 weeks of your pregnancy your baby's heart begin to beat and can be well visualized in the ultrasonography even though initially it is just in the form of a tube beating at around 100 beats per minute soon it would acquire its classical four chambered structure and beat at around 110 to 170 beats per minute by now if the cardiac activity is not appreciable please do not panic as it may just be a delayed conception especially if you are a case of polycystic ovarian syndrome or pcos so at this stage the turgid appearance of gestational sac presence of fetal pole and the healthy yolk sac may be reassuring your doctor may advise a repeat ultrasound after 2 weeks to confirm the fetal viability this early scan also helps to know the location of developing fetus their numbers and the nature of twinning in case of multifetal gestations it also accurately estimates the expected date of delivery and would always help as base to assess the future growth of the baby by plotting the growth chart the baby cells are very quickly multiplying in numbers grow in size and differentiate into three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm organizing themselves into various organs and acquiring their specific functions the outer ectodermal layer will form baby's nervous system brain spinal cord skin and its appendages the middle mesodermal layer will form the muscular layer of heart muscles and walls of gastrointestinal tract it will also form the blood cells bones kidneys etc whereas the inner endodermal layer will form the inner lining of heart blood vessels lungs genitals inner cells of the gastrointestinal tract and the hormone producing cells at this stage of your pregnancy you may experience morning sickness and vomiting due to the rising levels of hcg hormone produced by the invading trophoblastic cells of the developing fetus as the risk of teratogenicity is very high the nature do not want you to consume anything that can harm the baby you may also experience little cramps and bleeding per vagina it does not necessarily indicate miscarriage and may simply be due to implantation bleeding as the baby tries to make roots into your womb in fact few mothers may also experience regular bleeding near their menstrual dates for few months without any harm to the developing fetus mother nature is great it would always ensure that only the healthy pregnancies continue and that normal fetuses are aborted on the way especially in the first three months so relax leave everything to mother nature and enjoy this beautiful journey of motherhood may god bless you best wishes